uh, what the most uh, meaningful moment of your career? Of your character. Career. Career. Oh, career. Descendants. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just, me and Mitchell were just talking about this last night. I was like, I don't think I remembered that it was my job <laughs> until I literally got there and I was like, oh wait, I'm here to actually work. Oh, uh, I literally thought I was just like, I thought I won like a Disney cruise for like a good week until they were like, no, like, um, here's the script. Um, you're here to work. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. And like he knew, like I literally was like full of adrenaline. I was just so happy to be there, period. Um, and I met the best people ever that I've still, to this day, are the best people I've ever met in my life. And yeah. So just descendants, period. Descendants. Yeah, I would say also descendants. Like, I think about it every day. Descendants is my Roman Empire um, when I think about constantly. Um, but I mean, I think it was the most meaningful because one, it was my first job ever, and then I was lucky enough to be, you know, with everybody. And I think also a really meaningful part of it is that we got to experience Cameron and all of his glory and doing what he loved. Um, and I also know that he is with us today and he would love being here. Um, and I think he, that plays a really big role into it for me as well. You know, I gotta, uh, I think we all kind of had a chat about this a bit, like something was kind of similar question. Um, I would absolutely say the sentence, it, you know, it, it, just, it changed everything in my life for me. There was a moment, uh, Dan and I were talking about yesterday, uh, my my first day on set was um, was the, like the, the first part of the film where I was um, standing there like uh, my character standing there looking out of the eye of the lost getting you know getting fitted for the suit and it was I was so nervous I was so so nervous I was freaking out and Dan saw that and just came in and just started making jokes to me and started just kind of pushing like you know kind of like having fun and I remember I told you about it just last night that it it did it took all these nerves that I had this anxiety and um, made it like okay, you know made it like I'm hanging out with mates and like having some fun and it, it was such a, a huge thing in my career that I've carried on forever. Uh, the sentence was massive for me and this that one day you know you, you, you didn't have to like go out of your way and help some kid there and it was just it made it so much fun and incredible so I'll be forever thankful to everyone on the sentence and at that first day uh, uh, I, I wish you guys could have been there to see, it was incredible. And so there's a, a, a lot of that, weird stories, a lot of them. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. How about you? Uh, well, I'm a little older than them. So my big career moment happened uh, the first time somebody took a chance on letting me be a lead in a movie, and I didn't know if I was ready or not. And I loved that challenge, so the fear of uh, not knowing if I could handle the big taking on of a lead role and do what I love doing and so when I finished that and it worked out and it was actually the first time I got notable recognition for work, that's when I knew that I was doing what I was meant to be doing. And then the sentence for me, because it is a huge thing, I had been working for a while and then to meet all you guys and see all you kids doing like the triple threats, dancing, singing, acting and just growing over the course of years. Like, I honestly felt like set dad. Yeah. Even, even though I was like playing your dad, I felt like set dad to all you guys. And being, being able to watch you guys grow and become incredible human beings, like from young, 13, were you? 13 years old, to see you become a beautiful young woman and you know, grounded and stable, and you, you have a beautiful soul. And just, you guys are all incredibly talented, awesome people. So it was just cool for me to be a part of an amazing show that had beautiful messages with unbelievable young talent like you guys. So, I enjoyed being set that. Was, was that the first time you'd, uh, uh, like, you were having that kind of, that experience that you had? Because you were, you were really a dad to the entire thing. Look, you were, you were uh, looking up for the entire way through. Was that, the, like, your first big experience with that kind of, I know you've got children, but, like, like uh, on set to be father to what? When 15 crazy kids running around <laughs> to that scale for sure because every like every time I'd been I was starting to play dads now and again but the kids were yeah. younger and it was it was on a smaller scale so that just felt bigger I felt that didn't you feel like we were doing something bigger yeah than just that movie when you were doing it you just yeah. kind of knew it was bigger than that yeah yeah from, from the get go from day dog it, it was just it, it poor guy's writing his arm off I know he's I'm like sorry. you know you have to say this yeah well we yeah no <laughs> you can brief it. 
Anyway, yes, I think it was the, the scale of it, the size of it. I, I, I think I recognized that and was like, wow. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Du coup, la question était, euh, quel était le, le, le moment qui leur a le plus compté pour eux dans leur carrière Et pas juste dans des opérations, dans toute leur carrière. On avait Jenna qui a commencé par, par dire que clairement c'était descendant parce que, tu sais, elle, elle avait complètement zappé qu'elle allait au taf en fait. Pour elle, elle allait juste, tu sais, genre aller dans un truc ensemble, euh, une route, une route, un bateau, passer un bon moment. Oh, salut, coucou Non, pas si vraiment un bon moment, c'est que une semaine après, on lui dit, madame, on a tenu le script. Bon, madame, on a réussi que pour vous travailler maintenant, mais elle a vraiment juste adoré. Et puis, enfin, les, les, c'est vraiment là où là, les belles personnes qui l'ont tenu en plus de l'adrénaline, et c'était une expérience incroyable. De plus, on a Brenna qui a dit comme quoi que pour elle aussi c'était vraiment descendant parce que c'était son premier job en tant qu'actrice. Mais en plus, c'était une expérience que ouf, que ce soit dans le travail, que ce soit dans l'ambiance. C'était là en plus qu'elle a pu voir Cameron qui était dans sa gloire la plus ultime et vraiment expérimenter, expérimenter ça avec tout le monde, c'était vraiment incroyable pour Tom. On avait ensuite Mitchell qui lui aussi a dit comme quoi c'était descendant parce que ce film pour lui a tout changé dans sa vie. Vraiment. Dès le premier jour sur scène où il était un peu stressé comme ça, où il devait filmer la, la scène où il devait vraiment être là en train de lui montrer son costume et il regarde la, le livre là des méchants. Euh, et du coup, bah, c'est la scène qu'il voyait au loin, il voyait, il n'était pas rien. Du coup, il vient voir et commençait à lui faire des blagues, à le à enlever le stress et les densités qu'il y a en lui et ça l'a énormément aidé. Ça a tellement qu'il n'a jamais oublié ça de sa vie. Donc, bon. C'était vraiment juste incroyable et il remercie pleinement d'avoir tous ces gens-là et d'avoir eu cette expérience-là. Il aurait aimé que chacun d'entre vous soit là pour pouvoir voir ça. Et enfin, on a Dan qui dit comme quoi, euh, pour lui, bon, quand même, plus vu d'entre eux. Donc, il a eu une carrière assez longue. Et de, pour lui, il y en avait deux. Certes, il y avait des descendants, mais la première, c'était lorsqu'on l'a pour la première fois donné cette chance d'être l'acteur principal. Parce que, enfin, c'est clairement pas si simple. Enfin, dans tous les cas, c'est, c'est, c'est un challenge, mais de, de, qu'on prenne cette chance de lui dire « Ok, tu as été l'acteur principal, c'est quelque chose pour lui qui comptait énormément. » Puis, arrivé à Descendant, où il retrouve, tu vois, tous ces petits enfin, enfants, parce qu'ils avaient 13 ans, 14 ans, enfin, ils étaient encore très jeunes, qui vont venir et faire le trio infernal, qui est chanter, danser et aussi faire de l'acting. Ah, il était juste là, waouh en plus, enfin, c'est pas comme si tu te disais bon, on fait un film, un film, voilà, qui n'est pas normal, mais vous voyez ce que je veux dire, non, c'est quelque chose de spécial. Il savait qu'il y avait un truc qui allait pousser le film pour aller vraiment très loin et que ça allait vraiment plaire à énormément de gens. Et c'est pour ça que c'était les deux points. Voilà.